Hey guys, I hope you guys are all enjoying the uh, little 52 lick series. Uh, today we're going to go over a Bill Stewart lick um, that's super hip, but what makes it hip is the phrasing of it and, the, and how he voices it around the kit. The actual pattern, the execution of it, isn't hard at all. In fact, the core pattern is so common uh, and so simple that it shows up uh, all over the place. In fact, a couple of the different videos uh, that I've done in this little series have all been based around something similar. So let's break that down. The root pattern is simply right, left, foot. It's a three note pattern and we've discussed before about how there's a bunch of different ways to break that up, but it's simply right, left, foot. We're gonna start by incorporating part of his voicings. So we're gonna play right, left on the snare drum and then we're gonna play foot uh, on the on with our left foot. And this is in a triplet. So one, two, three, four, just like that. So now that we have an understanding of the, the core pattern, that little three note grouping, now let's talk uh, about the second layer um, of this, which is the phrasing of it. So he's gonna play this in a three beat pattern. He's gonna take those three notes and group them in triplets, and then he's gonna play it in four four, but he's gonna loop it uh, twice every three beats. So the phrase will sound like this. One, two, three, four, triplet, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, accent, one, First pass, I counted it in 4-4. Four, four. Second pass, I counted it just in its grouping, which is a three-beat grouping. And there's that accent right when the pattern starts. That's the next layer. The following layer is going to be, we're gonna add another sound source. Instead of it just all being on the snare drum and hi-hat, after we play our, our accent, which is gonna come every three beats, on the downbeat, we're gonna move our right hand to the ride cymbal um, for uh, every time our right hand plays. So it's gonna go. So if it's a three beat pattern, and it's in triplets, then our right hand is gonna play all the downbeats. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So that's the pattern. The final step is going to be adding some extra phrasing things and some voicing things to really hip it up. For starters, we're going to add a pickup on the hi-hat. So in this pattern of triple lift, triple lift, triple lift, the third triplet, which sounds like a swung upbeat, is getting played in the hi-hat, so we're just going to play the um, the upbeat right before our initial downbeat. So it's going to add a pickup to it. One, two, three, four. Four. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our very first left stroke, and instead of playing it on the snare drum, we're going to move it over to the open hi-hat, which is gonna be opening up just from our leg opening and closing uh, to play that um, upbeat in our foot. So now it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Four. And the last layer is when this is not playing that open hi-hat, we're gonna, we're gonna take our left hand and we're gonna duck it back. So what you really are gonna hear is this snare drum hi-hat sound and then the ride cymbal driving on the other beats. And then underneath that is this kind of like elvenish triplet undercurrent in the left hand. So we're gonna, so other than playing the open hi-hat, this is gonna get quieter. The last part I want to address 
is I want to address the fact that this phrase, as super hip and um, innovative as it is, actually almost likely comes from um, a, another source. It comes from a Tony Williams lick. Um, uh, Bill Stewart's a big Tony Williams fan, uh, as are hopefully most of us, but that, that definitely seems to be a strong influence on him. And uh, if you've ever checked out Tony Williams' so solo on Seven Steps to Heaven, the, the studio version off of Miles' Seven Steps to Heaven, he plays a one chorus solo, it's super hip. It's linear, we don't hear a lot of the stock um, beboppy drum things that we're used to. Uh, he does some things like you, you know, where you'll notice about the Bill Stewart phrase, there's no bass drum. And that, that hand and uh, cymbal snare combination is kind of weird, right? It, it sounds fresh, it sounds different. But Tony played actually a pretty similar phrase in that solo. Um, let me see if I can recall that phrase because it's been a while. Um, uh, that's the phrase. So it's um, going to start on our, on our right hand. It's, it's also going to be a three note pattern, right? It's basically uh, right, left, foot, right, left, foot, right, left, foot. It's just that we're, we're taking that, those three, group, three uh, notes in the group and moving the sticking around. You'll also notice the exact same sources. Our foot's playing here. It's a three note pattern and we're, going, we're moving around the, the ride cymbal, snare drum, and hi-hat. Now this is a three note grouping, but it's an eighth note. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can see from that how we can get this really hip, innovative phrase from Bill Stewart that's likely heavily influenced by a hip phrase he heard years ago on a record. And to me, that's how this music should progress. You should find stuff that you really like, take it, twist it around, take the elements that you really like, and before you know it, you'll come up with your own thing and you'll have innovated uh, some phrase or, or some vocabulary for the next generation that came from the generation before you or the ones uh, well before you. So good luck with that phrase. Actually, both of those phrases, they're both great phrases, uh, and I'd love to see uh, you guys get in there and try to come up with different combinations that are inspired by both of these phrases.